Hello everyone and welcome back to another video on my channel now today it's a match reaction it's Wickham versus Luton and what a game that game was like filled with so many emotions you know happiness sadness you know me getting angry it, it was literally it had everything about it and it was a very close game very competitive game and we do make it hard for ourselves I have to admit the first half, well, let's go back from the beginning, shall we? So, like any other match reaction, I do talk about the lineup, um, my first half thoughts, my second half thoughts. And as you can tell, I am freestyling this. Um, I mentioned before my laptop is broken, so unfortunately I can't edit this video as well as I normally would do. So, yeah, I'm freestyling this match reaction. So, yeah. Looking at the lineup and the system, I was very disappointed. Playing five at the back against Wickham, for me, we're just matching against them. Why? We should just play like our own game, like we did in the second half as we were pushing for the goal. Just play an attacking, like, an attacking system because we get positive outcomes doing that. I've said in the past, with like previous um, times where we've played five at the back, it's okay playing that system if you've got the right personnel in. If you don't have the right personnel, don't play that system. We didn't have any creative players in that first half. We didn't create anything in that first half. Th that's not good enough from us. We should be doing a lot better. We played like to Wickham's strengths, you know. We were hoofing the ball to them. They're, I bet you they were thinking, oh, thank you very much, Luton. You're just playing to our strengths. No, like we should be doing a lot better than that. So I was very disappointed with like the system and the lineup. Nathan said he wanted to make changes. Okay, you made four changes. Were they what like whoa? Were they the right changes to the team? No, they weren't the right changes. Need to be better. I feel like the likes of Loire Loire today and Monka proved today that they should be starting more games and I feel like they should from now until like the end of the season. But anyway, that overall, the first half was poor. It was shocking, and I was worried. The penalty decision, I don't know if it was a foul like in the build-up on Matty Pearson. Apparently, he was bleeding from his like, challenge, or no, I wouldn't say challenge, but with his battle with the Wickham striker. That Wickham striker bullied him all game. He couldn't get close to him, if I'm being honest. Matty Pearson had a very poor game today but Naismith why are you fouling that Wickham player just let him go if he has a free shot at goal he has a free shot at goal let Sluga deal with that shot if it goes in it goes in I'd rather he not give away a penalty there because at, with a penalty it's literally like 75% likely that the attacker probably higher than 75% actually that an attacker scores a penalty literally it's a free shot from 12 yards with no one with like no one putting pressure on you whereas with a, like a shot anything can happen he may just sky the shot you know there's a lot more different outcomes that can happen so personally Naismith should have been a little bit smarter there and not bring down the Wiccan player I thought he had a poor game Naismith if I'm being honest needs to do a lot better you know he is experienced at this level prove it you know show that you are not give away silly penalties like that but anyway, at half time, we obviously made the changes. Dewsbury Hall came on. We brought on some like creativity in the second half, which we needed throughout the first half. And it showed. We put the pressure on Wickham. And then they went down to 10 men. I think that's very harsh. I think it's a very harsh red card. If that was a Luton player doing it, then I would be thinking, nah, it's just a yellow at max. But nowadays, in, in today's modern game, it's a red. I just... I didn't think the studs were that high. I just, I don't know. I think it was very harsh, but the Wiccan play obviously got sent off in the end. And that's when Luton just, you know, just completely changed. We just went, we just went for it, basically. I think at one point we had six attackers, you know, just going at Wickham, you know, trying to find, you know, well, just trying to score the first goal for us to try and get back into the game. And then it all changed when George Monker came on. And I do feel sorry for George Monker because I do like him. I feel I feel like he is an impact player. I don't think he's a player that should start games. However, I do feel like he should be playing a lot more, you know, especially when we need goals. 
bring Monko on. Now, the reason why I say Monko really isn't a, like a 90-minute player is because he just doesn't last 90 minutes. You can't get 90 minutes out of him. However, what you can do is you can get 30 minutes out of him at a very good level and him just going at teams. So I do want to see Monko a lot more. He's free kick. The Wickham goalkeeper, Stockdale, he's put on a lot of weight over the years and he gave him too much space. I was thinking to Monker, just put it in that corner with a bit of pace. Stockdale is not getting anywhere near it and he did exactly that. And then the second goal, I hate short corners, but I let this one go. Loire Loire with a fantastic strike. George Monker with this with the assist. A brilliant goal by Loire Loire. And then the third one, Cornick, when he came on, was brilliant, by the way. The amount of chances he were well, he was creating in the second half. He set up Collins, Adebayo before that. But the third one, he set up Adebayo for the third. A brilliant header by Adebayo. I felt Collins should have scored a lot sooner in the... Well, I feel like Collins should have scored at the start of the second half. There was a time where the ball got played at like towards the edge of the box... Collins had a free shot on goal and he skied it. And honestly, he needs to get that on target. But obviously, I'm not going to have a go at him now because like we won the game 3-1, so it doesn't matter. But if that didn't go in, well, it obviously didn't go in. But it, if we didn't win the game, then we would be looking back at that moment and thinking, you should have done better there. But overall, obviously, I'm happy that Luton got the three points. I feel like Wickham, they were better in the first half, but... But them having 10 players on the pitch played a massive part in that, in us getting the three points. We need to be better. We were lucky because if Wickham had 11 players on the pitch, do I think we would have won 3-1? No, I don't think we would have done because I don't think the performance was there. But we need to improve. We need to improve. We can't perform like we did in the first half today against Wickham, against Watford. Because Watford are a different breed I don't like saying that, but they are. You know, their quality, that, that squad is unreal. And they could easily hit three or four past us. It could be embarrassing. We need to be on it. We need to make sure that we are battling, we're fighting. Because today in the first half, Wickham wanted it more. Nathan Jones, you need to make sure that the start 11 is perfect. You know, the system is correct. Do not make the same mistakes that you have made over the course of the season where we pick the wrong system and the wrong players at the start of the game and then at halftime you have to switch it up because you've made a mistake. Do not do that against Watford. I'm really hoping Luton don't do that. And also, when we get the chances against Watford, we need to take them. We can't afford not to do it, not to do that against Watford because as I as I've said already. They will score three or four because of their quality within that squad. I don't see them having an off day. They want promotion to the Premier League. So we need to make sure that we can try and stop that. But overall, I'm happy with the three points today. However, the performance does need to improve. But big up, Monker, Harry Cornick, Loire Loire, Douche Bihal, he was good when he came on. You know, fair play to Nathan Jones. His substitutions are good. However, you need to get it right from the from like the beginning basically but anyway guys that is my overall thoughts on this game against Wickham if you did enjoy the video make sure you drop a like comment below your thoughts about um, this game against Wickham who do you, who was your man of the match um, subscribe to the channel if you are new don't forget to follow me across all my social media if you haven't done already and I'll see you guys in the next video